Hey guys, this is Stefan for Raw Exchange, and I am pretty excited about a uh, software, and I want to show you that software. It's Satellite 3D Studio in the version 2.0. Um, you might have heard about it. Um, for those who have no idea, I want to explain shortly what it does. It's basically a light simulation and a tool for planning your shots. Um, it has these predefined objects, so it's like uh, you can move lights here and you can do uh, and basically all that stuff that you can do to studio lights so you can adjust the power you can have grids you can have uh, different light modifiers there's a hell uh, of, of light modifiers here so you can really test your setups out and you can have like chairs and uh, props for your shot you can also um, choose the camera, obviously, so you have a crop factor and you have um, different lenses and all, also all the camera settings. Um, what's important about this software is that it will work on your computer. So you don't need that studio actually, but you can plan all your shots and you can save them. So. Um, I've got a few things here, for example, this one, um, a very simple shot, but it's super awesome. So you can move around and see what's going on here and you can adjust the light so it fits your, um, your need. So uh, I use this all the time to plan my shots and to collect ideas. So if I play around with like um here we have um that projection going on for for the background and have a super dark scene or here i've got something that's more like a advertisement stuff you also have black walls or we flats for um to create that stuff you're not limited in the in the number of lights in the studio version um, well, basically, you are limited by your computer, but um, it's actually pretty performant, so you can really, really have a lot of lights, and it's very responsive and um, pretty awesome. So, if you think about um, 3D software, usually 3D software is really complex to use, and if you have ever done something like... I don't know, Blender or Cinema 4D or Maya or whatever, um, it's pretty tough to use. But this is different because it's for photographers. So you have models, it comes with six models, and you just drag them out and give them the clothes you want, give them the hairstyle you want. And um, if you have a model with like, I don't know, cyan hairs, you just give the model a cyan hairs so it's just easy you have different yeah different clothes you have even glasses um you have different makeups and also posing setups so it becomes a, a source of inspiration as well so you can just use it to create a set that you can send to your team or to your model to send out an idea what the shot is going to look like. Um, when it comes to, to posing, um, this is pretty amazing because um, when I move around here, I can just click the model and go to the posing mode. And that's something amazing. That's really, really, really amazing. Um, as you can see, when I'm hovering about the, the model, um, all the limbs are getting highlighted and I can move them around. And that's pretty simple and pretty fast. And um, so I can just move the stuff and have a new pose here. If I'm happy with my pose, I just take a snap and that snap is in my library here. So. It's really, really simple to create new sets and I can 
uh, jump between these sets and so this becomes a library of ideas as well. And as you can see, we have a lot of different light modifiers and lights. So it has the strobes with light modifiers, but it also has um, continuous light. So there are Aries and um, yeah, all the camera settings are working for continuous light as well and also for mixed light situations. You can do pretty much everything you can do to a normal light. You have grids, you have different light modifiers, you have even color gels with the names of leaf filters, which is super cool because if you want to have it in dark blue, then you will just go and grab a 119 and that's pretty cool. And if you want a second light, let's say I want a second light here from from above. So this goes to the model and let's put this on top and behind the model. So got this one. And I obviously don't need a light stand here, so I can switch this off as well. I can adjust the power, and if I'm happy with it, I take a snap. So, um, so I can send this to um, uh, to my customer and can say this is um, what I'm aiming for. This is my set. That's what I need, and. Um, if we go to the view, I can even render the shot so I get a better quality. Um, these lights and shadows and how the light renders on the models is calculated by profiles that are created for each light and modifier. So this is super close to real world um, results. So you can really use this to to test things out without being in a hurry in a studio or being annoying for the model because you need to fiddling around with your lights. This is super cool. So if I got this, I can go to the export setting and in the export setting, I got a list of all that stuff that's going on. Can rearrange this a little bit so it's better uh, for me to see what's going on. I get the settings from the from the camera, from all the lights, from the gels that I'm using. Um, I got a, a rendered shot here, and I got this little um, image from from a set as well. And I can print this out and have it on my shot. So. That's really helpful for planning shots and for being effective in a studio. Um, when it comes to lights, we also have things like a projector. So you can have like, or it's, it's gobos, it's called gobos. So you can have your own gobos here and work with them as well. Um, you can have... This is now it's black and white. You can have this in color as well. You can adjust um, the color temperature of the strobe. You even have a modifier light. So there is a modifier light. As you, as you probably know, if you're working with um, low light settings, then the modifier lamp will probably um, affect your your light. Uh, color yeah, because it's mostly a little bit um, warmer so also the studio if I paint my studio in red it will affect the shadows here as you can see in this shot so um, even this is calculated and it will really affect your shot and so that way you will get a pretty good result and it will be pretty close to what it looks like in real life. And yeah, I'm as I said, I'm pretty excited about this. Um, you can also switch stuff on and off, so you can see it in the in the image or not. 
um, or in the plan or not. So if something is in the way, you can just switch it off. I'm using this software for for um, yeah creating shots, for creating ideas, and also as an inspiration for my poses. Speaking about poses, um, the software comes with a bunch of models. There are six base models and these models can be just dragged out and you can have different clothes for them. There comes a bunch of predefined clothes and I can have different colors for them and um, can also change the hairstyle of a model. If you if it happens that you have a model with uh, like cyan hairs, you can have this as well. So it's pretty simple to um, fit your actual model. And then when it comes to poses, you've got uh, a bunch of predefined poses that are really really good and really helpful for being uh, for creating an idea for your model. One thing is perfect if you have rendered models because rendered models will if i send this to uh, to my real model and say this is what i'm aiming for um they will not compare these rendered models with themselves and models are very likely to compare um so that helps a lot if something is not fitting, you can go to to posing mode. Posing mode is basically well when I hover about the model, all the limbs are getting um, highlighted, and I can just drag what I want to drag, and um, so I can create own poses actually. And obviously, I need to remove that hand here, but yeah, I think you get the idea. So. Let's put it there. So um, I can create my own poses here and can say this is what I'm aiming for. And um, this is pretty cool. So um, that's uh, that's actually so awesome. And it is so much, it's so much fun to play around with that and try stuff out and recreate also I'm, I'm recreating a lot of shots that i'm that i see and like and try to to find out what makes that light actually so awesome and well when i want to change this i can do this I can have a look how does this look with um hard light so and I just do it, or I can turn, just add grids to it and have a more of a moody light here. Um, I can fix this this uh, strobe to the model, so if I move around the model, it will always point in that direction, which is pretty helpful because that way I don't need to um, adjust the the strobe actually, but. I can do this as well, obviously, and I've got a laser pointer here, so I really um, find the, the the place where in, where I need to point to. So it's very playful. It's very awesome. It has so many functions. It even has like um, continuous light. So let's just move to a shot with continuous light. So this is this is mixed light even. So I've got um, a gobo here for the background. Let's see what it does. So and um, so that's what it creates. There's some shadows going on here, and I got two continuous lights. It's like the Aries and. I've got these little wee flats here in the background and it's awesome. So I can really test that stuff out. I can um, adjust the size of my studio as well. And so if I create my studio and it's maybe it's a smaller studio and can see how the, how the ceiling and the walls are affecting my shot. And um, also I can see if I fit my 
strobes here in that shot to get that result. As I, as I said, um, the result is pretty close to what you get in, in real camera because all lights are measured and I had a, a chat with the developer and it was pretty insane how much time they, or not just time, it's time and money they invest to get all these light formers and light modifiers and lights and do really uh, some measurements on it and do all the calculations of the different lights and light modifiers. So that's basically why this software is so awesome because it's so damn close to the real result that it's really fun to work with. So take a snap, this is awesome. And then render the shot and as you can see how the shadows are rendered here, this is a really, really close to reality and you really get an idea of what your light is doing here and how your shot will look like. Let's render this, this is also pretty awesome. Um, there is a lot of th stuff going on, so um, I think I cannot cover this in a in a short video. There are a lot of videos um, on the website of these guys, um, and obviously, you can use as many lights as you want. It's only it's only um, uh, limited by the by the power of your computer and the graphic card. Um, yeah, this software is it's it's not expensive either. So um, right now they sell it for like one hundred fifty bucks, and it comes with all the functionality. So this is the the, the big version. Um, I think it's discounted. So normal price is around two hundred or so. Um, I will put a a link in the description so you can just jump in and have a look. Um, yeah, I'm. As I said, I'm pretty excited what this tool allows me to do um, in in planning because when I'm in the studio, I have not the time to to test stuff out and uh, create new setups. I just I just need to have a setup that works, and this is an issue because. At some point, all the images will look the same because it's always the same three setups that I'm using. And this changed a lot when I jumped to into using this software. And I also get more confident if I know um, what I'm aiming for. So uh, make sure you have a look at um, the website from Satellite. Uh, it's pretty, pretty, pretty awesome. As I said, six models. Um, tons of light modifiers, um, also speed lights. If you are um, using speed lights, you can just use the speed lights for it um, off camera. You have also continuous light with ring light and I think we have a ring flash as well. It's a smaller one. Yes, we have it. Obviously we have it. We have um, reflectors and light blockers. The only thing that's missing is basically diffusers, um, but that's not that bad actually. And then you have a lot of properties. One of the properties is this picture wall, which is like a like a wall with a picture on it, and there are some some um, pre-built things, and if you put PNGs on it. Um, it will become transparent on as the PNG is transparent, and it will always obviously behave like, yeah, like it's really that way. You can just rescale it and uh, rotate it and do all that stuff that you can do with real life objects as well. So. Um, this gives a lot of, of flexibility because you can build your own stuff with that picture wall because you drag, just drag um, your, your own um, textures on it 
and it can be also self-lighting, self-luminous, as they call it. Um, so it can become um, something that doesn't take shadows. Now, just have a look at what they did. They they have a lot of examples, and there is also a, a, like a demo version, which is like a 10 days or so for free. So you can just really test it out and have some fun with it. And it is fun. It is so much fun. If you get used to the to the um, um, how you how you move in the studio, it's really really a lot of fun. So make sure to play around with it and take care. This was Stefan for Rock Exchange. <laughs>